I'm going to take just a couple of minutes today and talk about the blessing that Jacob gives to the sons of Joseph, Ephraim, Ephraim and Manasseh. And it's found in Genesis 48, and it's just verses 15 and 16. It says, Then he blessed Joseph and said, May the God before whom my grandfather Abraham and my father Isaac walked, the God who has been my shepherd all my life to this very day, the angel who has redeemed me from all harm, may he bless these boys. May they preserve my name in the names of Abraham and Isaac. May their descendants multiply greatly throughout the earth. Now both sons received the same blessing. Remember we talked yesterday about how he placed his right hand on the younger son and his left hand on the older son, and that was backwards according to the culture, but not backwards according to God's plan and God's will. So when you see this, both are getting the same blessing, but one of them will receive a greater portion of this blessing, and that will be Ephraim, the younger, who is blessed with the right hand. And this is seen throughout Scripture. When the kingdom splits, we're way down the road, down to um, after Solomon. Uh, the northern and southern kingdoms of Israel split. Judah, the southern section, continues along with the line of David. In the northern kingdom, they, they run through a, a wide variety and different royal families. There's assassinations. All kind of things happen throughout that uh, section of Scripture. But the northern kingdom at times was even called Ephraim. It wasn't even called Israel. There's places in the Bible, specifically in the book of Isaiah, that the entire northern kingdom is referred to as Ephraim. So you can see that the, the power, the influence that this tribe would have, and it's resulting from this blessing that Jacob gives to this son of Joseph. Now, a couple of things that Jacob says here. In verse 15, he says, the God who has been my shepherd. Jacob's testimony here about God is a testimony of grace. He doesn't talk about his faithfulness. He doesn't talk about his merit. He goes to God and he starts talking about God's grace, God's faithfulness, right? God was a faithful shepherd to Jacob when Jacob was not faithful to him. He was still there. So this is the first mention in the Bible of God as being a shepherd. It's the first time we see that language used, and it's language that we will find used throughout the rest of the Bible. And Jacob here is the first man to utter this and to bring this thought forward. So then he continues, verse 16, the angel who has redeemed me from all harm, may he bless these boys. What angel? I think he's talking about the angel of the Lord that we see throughout the Bible. This is the angel that he wrestled, right? It's the angel that Jacob wrestled. This is the angel that appeared to Moses in the burning bush. Right? This is, this is the, uh, the angel that appeared to Abraham before the destruction of Sodom and Gomorrah. This is the pre-incarnate Christ. This is the angel of God. That's who, this, that's who this is, the angel of the Lord, as he's oftentimes referred to in the Old Testament. So this is Christ appearing in the Old Testament. We'll see this was Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego in the book of Daniel. It's throughout. So the idea here is, is this angel of the Lord, this Messiah, this is Jesus, has redeemed me from all harm. Now, this is the first time in Scripture as well that we see the idea of redemption. This is the first time the word redeem is used in the Bible, period. And this is a phrase, this is a word that would become absolutely synonymous with Jesus as he is our Redeemer. The prophecies that would talk about him in the Old Testament as well as what he did in the New Testament and the letters and writings of the apostles after Christ's earthly ministry will all speak of his redemptive power. This is the first place we see it, right here in this blessing. A lot of stuff happening there. A lot of things set up that will bear fruit centuries from now. And we'll talk a little bit more about Joseph's reaction tomorrow.